Hey everyone, Stone Co. reported second quarter financial results that sent the stock price down by nearly 7.5% on the day of the announcement. So in this video, I'm going to review Stone Co.'s latest figures, and I'm also going to update my recommendation of Stone Co.'s stock in answer if the stock is a buy on the dip. Now coming into the quarter, I had Stone Co. rated as one of my top stocks to buy. So you're going to want to tune in to see if I'm updating or changing that recommendation so let's get right into it looking at Stone Co's second quarter earnings review which saw its total revenue increase by 28.2 percent year-over-year net income for the period was a huge improvement to 307.2 million compared to a loss of 489.3 million in the second quarter last year net cash provided by operations increased to 832.5 million up from 714.6 million in the same time last year. The company's forecasting third quarter revenue growth of 23%, which is just one of the reasons why investors were not excited about this company's quarterly update. That would be a deceleration from the second quarter revenue growth of 28%. So I highlighted this chart here from the company that really emphasizes a few given takes from the latest quarter, some of the pros and cons. Starting with uh, the top layer here, what you see is TPV, total payment volume. And the company uh, separates this into two uh, areas, MSMB and key accounts. And for MSMB, the company saw total payment volume rise by 19.3% to 83.3 million where it saw the 83.3 billion sorry the key account segment is where it's experiencing headwinds but I'll talk more about why that's not such bad news key accounts saw a decrease of 32.5% to 14.1 billion the monthly average total payment volume also decreased to 9.2 that was down by 22.5% and that's in connection with the key accounts decline. The company is changing its focus to micro businesses, micro merchants, which there are more in more of, so it can increase its customer count. And it's de-emphasizing the key accounts, which management said are lower margin and high customer acquisition cost. So they're de-emphasizing that side of the business. They want to focus more on more profitable clients. And so that's why you're seeing that decrease in the key accounts segment and you'll see that across the board here as we move down if you look at net ads net customer additions you'll see that the msmb segment saw 203.9 thousand additions where key accounts lost 5,000. and again that's in line with the company's de-emphasizing of these types of customers the take rate which is the percentage that the company keeps from the total payment volume, and it's a key measure, increased for the MSMB segment to 2.48%. That was up by 0.38 percentage points year over year. And look at the key accounts, just 1.14%. That was also up by 28 percentage points. But look, it's it, these customers are less than half as profitable as the MSMB customers. And so you can understand why management is deciding to focus more on the MSMB customers, the micro merchants, and less emphasis on these key accounts that are not as profitable. And so investors were not convinced that this is a good strategy just yet. That can partly explain why the stock price was down also because the revenue forecast was not exciting for the third quarter but i tend to like managements that focus on more profitable customers rather than just focusing on customer growth just for the sake of growing customer counts i'm not a fan of high customer acquisition costs and you know i've favored moves like this i one company that specifically reminds me of this move is what eBay did around 2019 2000 uh, right before the start of the pandemic eBay decided to take on a similar strategy where they de-emphasized 
those low value customers they stop sending promotions to those customers trying to reactivate them with bonuses and incentives just trying to get them to come back and spend money and i've i've been a fan of that move because it's increased ebay's profitability now they did lose customers they have lost customers as a result of that policy but what's the point of having customers that are not profitable for your company right why do you want those customers anyways if they're only going to spend money when you send them a promotion so yeah i'm a fan of the move although it remains early let's see how merchants and and the business reacts to this move wall street does not seem to be a fan of the move the stock price is down following the announcement uh, a little over seven percent so to update my recommendation of the stock I'm keeping it rated as one of my top stocks to buy. I, I'm i cautiously optimistic about this decision to de-emphasize these uh, client moves. The stock is not expensive. And then given the additional 7.5% decrease, the stock is really not expensive. So for, that, for those reasons, I would say, yes, it's, it's a good stock to buy on the dip here. But that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.